and welcome back to the channel. On this video we're doing test two of the Insta360 X4 camera. I've got my friend Keith with us again. He's on his aerial rider Grizzly and I'm on the Lyric Graffiti. And this time we're going to do a test ride number two around here and we're going to, here comes a car. We've got the camera at a little bit different angle so we're going to test this one. We're just kind of doing some test runs here to see what we get for, for uh, what the visual looks like. Um, so this one's up a little higher. So uh, actually we almost got it fully extended, don't we? Yeah, I, it's almost fully extended. So it's pretty near, just about fully extended. And this thing goes out what? Four feet maybe? Uh, or three and a half feet? That's, I would say about closer to four feet. Yeah, maybe four least, feet. Because by the time you get out to the lenses there. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so, Way above your head. so now yeah, you'll see me back here. yeah, now we'll be able to see Keith there uh, yeah, if he has any accidents on his grizzly yeah. like in the past. That's what you can call for the Actually, you had the accident back when it was still my bike, his first ever ride on the grizzly, and he went whoopsie. But uh, uh, fortunately, everything was okay, the bike was okay, Keith was okay, and nobody else was involved, so it was great. Yeah. So lots of traffic all of a sudden here. I'm sure there's people that are wondering what the heck has that guy got that big pole sticking out of his bike? Because not everybody knows what's going on with cameras. Right, Keith? No, I was saying that not everybody, people are looking at me strangely that, uh, what's that pole sticking out? You know, not everybody knows what that is. Right. Okay, so we're going to go up to the light. So I think we'll kick it a little bit faster here. Right now we're at 25 miles an hour. Let's see if the speed reader picks up our speed here. 26 at the moment. Yeah. I'll tell you this uh, The uh, speedometer on this uh, display is pretty accurate. It's it's really close. Like it was reading 60 or 26 on my uh, on mine, and then it was also reading 26 on the speed reader on the street there. So. All right. So we're going to turn left, and then the first road down here, we're going to turn uh, left. Turn left in the first road? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. So this road here in this area has no bike lane, so we're going to make an imaginary one. not the first road, I shouldn't have said first road. It's not the second one either. I think it's the third one. Speed limit right here is 35, but I think it goes up to 40 or 45 up ahead. There's my road right there, oh well. Good turn here. Look at that hill. Yeah. That's one to try. Uh, I want to try the Graffiti X on that one. I think this would be a great test. Yeah, this is it's short, but it's really steep. 
So the road was back here. I said first road, it's the third road. First third road. It's the first one that's not that subdivision there. That okay. 137th. Okay, so let's wait. There's lots of traffic today here. Yeah, I think it's summertime. Yeah, lots of people out and about. Yeah, okay, let's go. All right. Follow that Toyota. <laughs> it says no outlet, but we just want to do a fun little ride down here. It's kind of nice, the street. So, so I'm using the DJI microphone and so hopefully my sound quality is better because I have had people say they have trouble hearing me on the GoPro so hopefully this microphone uh, is picking me up uh, the audio uh, much better so With the new uh, Graffiti X coming uh, before long here, I'm probably going to get back into wearing my motorcycle helmet more often, so uh, got to make sure I have some uh, good microphone set up inside the uh, helmet. Lots of clicks there and pops. I hope uh, no flat tires coming. I think this just winds up being the dead end right here. So let's do a Yui. Yeah, this is nice over here. Yeah. I like it over here. I like this. Uh, it's kind of quiet. We're going to go uh, down here and we're going to turn right over here. Yeah, this is just... Th I'll show you here if we go down... Uh, over here connects to a little like park area. The sun is kind of going in and out today. It's kind of cloudy again. really cool when you can find some nice back roads that are less traveled. Did you see the scampering squirrel? I think I think there's a way that this can connect to that King City Park. Like I think it just goes over here as King City Park. Where, see the houses. Okay. You get over this bike has a little torque. Listen. I gotta be careful. The tires are already low. <laughs> Come on, quit showing off. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I want to play more torque than you. Do. Yeah, this bike, you know, your bike has a lot of takeoff, but this one here, especially, <laughs> it can, because it has dual motor. Like plus we're on loose gravel. Yeah. It's not going to do it on the pavement. Well, this rear wheel only won't do it. And it's too heavy, everything at the back, so.
All right, so. Uh, yeah. You want to keep going? You want to keep going or try the camera at a different angle again and cut this video? I'll see how uh, this was number two test. I think it looks better right about your height, but if you're riding in a group, you definitely want it higher because I can see that camera from behind. So what know. about uh, from here behind? Yeah, you, you like I can it? see the camera. Oh, you want to try it back? You want to try another one more? It's up to you. But if you have it back there, it's not going to be able to see you though. No, that's true. Oh, let's just. Uh, I think those two angles are pretty good. Yeah, let's just go with this one then. Okay. Let's go up here and then we'll stop test number two. But we'll get this uh, camera set up to where it's pretty decent. Just need to get used to it now and get used to the uh, software. Now the sun's back out. Okay. So I'm reading the display right now and we're cranking out about 816 watts steady right there at 23 miles per hour. We are going up a little bit of a slight hill here, very gradual. So this is technically where King City begins, right there. And that's a population of 5,184. This area, that's a nice road there, right? And it connects right over to King City Park. Now this uh, has no bike lane here though. Right, this is probably like county property. It's not really a city, right? Yeah. I saw that guy was burning his trash, so I guess you can't really send the city, so nope. obviously you're outside the city limits. All right, where do you want to go to? Just back to that gazebo? Okay, I'm going to finish it off there, or do you want to end it here okay. and do another one? It's up to you. All right, well, well, we'll stop this one, and we'll do one more. Okay. Test three. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. That was a fun ride. I like that street there. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit the, hit the subscribe button. Also, yeah, I'm going to jump off here for a yeah. second. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you want to comment, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. See, the camera's going to turn that. Yeah. And we would like to hear some comments, though, on what you think of this video so far. Uh, we're still kind of tinkering with it and trying to figure it all out but uh, hopefully it's good quality I'm sure it will be oh, yeah. so thank you Keith for uh, coming with us on this ride as the traffic goes by
perfect day today. And until next time, keep your wheels in the road. See you later.